Hello everyone, welcome to the video. Tuesday today and I hope you're all doing good out there. I've got this sort of ring light set up going on, so I hope it's looking okay. Um, but yeah, everything is good. I can't believe it's coming up to two weeks since Bella's been born. Um, it just seems like time's flown just so quickly, as always. Um, but I think I've like watched our birthing video like a hundred times because I just love it so much. I love looking back on it, it just feels great that that moment is just now like saved in time so I can watch it whenever. Wise. Obviously, I'm a personal trainer, I work in gyms and, and things like that. There's still no sort of update on when gyms will be reopening, which is like a little bit concerning for me. Um, but I did start to ease some work back in as of last night. So I did my outdoor boot camp. It's the first time I've ever ran an outdoor sort of group. And the support I had from people was absolutely incredible. I had a huge group turn up. Um, the session went amazingly well and I couldn't have asked for more. Obviously we abided by all the social distancing rules and we set out sectioned areas, but um, what an amazing group of people. It was such a nice moment because I was actually quite anxious about delivering the session. I was a bit nervous um, how it was gonna turn out, who was gonna come. Um, obviously all these sort of pressurizing rules with the social distancing and I was really sort of a bit nervous before the session and I don't, ever really get like that. I'm usually really quite confident in delivering um, sort of workouts to big groups, no matter what size, but I don't know why, but last night I really did feel it. Um, but the the group that turned up and those people just, they mean so much to me and it was an am amazing sort of get together, kickstart of everything and I really felt the support last night. So I'm very, very thankful. I'm also possibly gonna be taking on another exciting project um, in terms of uh, personal training and stuff like that. Um, that kind of just sprung on me this week uh, and that's gonna be sort of based over the next couple of months and it's really quite exciting. So I'll be really looking forward to share a little bit more about that. But things are looking a little bit more positive work-wise for me. Um, one thing obviously I am absolutely loving so much is, is filming and editing and putting this content together for everyone. Um, and it, it is a massive passion of mine and I just love it. So obviously this is not gonna stop. Ideally we wanna be getting out sort of a couple of videos a week, but I, I really want that standard to be the same throughout so I have got I'm putting a little bit of pressure on myself to keep the quality there um, and I'm really really trying so I hope um, it's coming across in the videos we went to a poppy field yesterday um, and took some amazing photographs because um, that's another sort of thing I'm going hand in hand with the filming I'm enjoying the photography and capturing the girls and Tamara we went there yesterday and it was just an amazing sort of scenery caught some lovely photos I'm not going to show them in this video if you want to see them go check out our Instagram page at the Hutchinson family they're on there um, but really really special This is two weeks after birth and it is absolutely nuts with baby number three. Um, how I'm feeling is surprisingly really, really good. It's been actually really pleasant and it's been lovely, but I don't know if that's whether down to lockdown and having everyone at home with me as well. Um, with the other pregnancies after giving birth, I think with Scarlett, Chris just went back to work, just the kind of work he had at the time. He couldn't have any paternity leave, so it meant he was straight back out to work. Um, so I was kind of like on my own a little bit more. Um, and maybe 
you know, that has helped this time. I've got Chris here, um, Olivia's six years old, so she's helping out a lot. Scarlett is just super cute with her. And they just entertain her when she's awake. They entertain her, I don't have to do it. Um, so Bella is absolutely fantastic. How I'm feeling myself, um, you know, it's kind of like the first two days I think I was just in this dream world of like bliss of having her and how well the birth went. I was super happy with how the video went as well, the labour video, that gave me loads of, you know, made me feel really nice. And I think it was about my first wobble was probably day three where I just cried. I don't know why. It was nothing to do with Bella. It was nothing to do with Chris, nothing to do with the girls. I was just really hormonal. I felt it about lockdown. I think I heard something on the radio about how lockdown has affected people and it just made me just go. Um, but other than that, that was that day. And then I got through it and was fine. And then after that, I've just been really, really happy. The girls have been supporting me. Chris has been supporting me. With routine with her, obviously she's only like 13 days old now. So everything that I always say with children is, it's always a phase. If you've got a good phase, like that's only gonna be a phase and it's gonna go into a different phase soon. But if you're having a bad phase, it means a good phase is coming. But I don't really know, she's doing really well I and mean, she kind of is in quite a good routine of she's doing really good at night time. She's about, she's conked out about 10 o'clock whilst we're watching television and then we go to bed at about 11, I do a feed then and she sleeps through till 2, 3 o'clock. Then I'm up then, quick feed and she goes back down in her own little crib next to my bed and she's out until 6 o'clock wakes up for another feed and a nappy change and then she wakes up at about half past eight which is really really good. Some mornings Chris has been doing the girls breakfast. Right, are, you, are you having those ones? No. These ones? Those ones? No, I need the brown ones. What? What's all these? The pink. Pink and green. Purple spoon. I can't believe that this time round I've got more time to do stuff. Maybe it's with the sleeping with her that she is going down. At the moment you can probably hear a little bit of noise. She's in this throne thing, this chair, and it rocks and it's really good to put her down. And She's really happy being down. Whereas some babies, definitely Olivia, couldn't ever put her down. She'd be in my arms and stuck there and I wouldn't be able to put her down. But Bella luckily it's going down like a light so my hands are free which is amazing for once where intimidating trees hide the sky with their leaves it shrivels where souls do wonder and minds darkly ponder it wilts Where all seems lost in lonesome frost, it withers. But light will shine through, it always does. Through gaps in the canopy, it filters. On dreary, forgotten lands, it brightens. The unloved roots, it warms. It discovers a way. It always does. Embrace it. Hope. So it's officially time for Bella's first bath. So mummy is filling it up right now. It seems to here be we ready. go. It seems to be a bit wet in here because someone had a swimming lesson in there before their bath started. Scarlett, have you just been in the bath? Yeah. Can I have so my pajamas on now? Okay, let's have a look at your pajamas. Some weird Oh, very interesting. Did you put them on yourself? Yeah. Oh. I can't take Lovely outfit. Put a little bit of that in. Oh, 
Very nice. Wow. Right, here we go. Here's the big moment. I think Olivia was doing the parenting while we were filling the bath up. Wait, we have dummy back in because she might cry. Yeah, I think she's going to be alright. No, she I think won't. she's going to be alright. She doesn't need the dummy for Right, she's going to have a full audience. She's got a full audience for the bath time. Is it nice for her? No, it's horrible for her. Yummy. Girls, what do you think? Is she going to cry or will she be happy? She'll get used to it, she'll stop Okay, we've got an expert in the house. Ooh. Bella, it's your first bath time. I'm sorry you've got such a big audience. But we're <laughs> all really excited. Oh, she does a poo in the bath. Oh, oh no. Who used to do poos in the bath? <laughs> when I was a baby. And also, she did the poos in the living room on the floor. Oh, Scott, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And this was all the other day. <laughs> was it all the other day? <laughs> no, it wasn't really. No, You're a big true. sister now, aren't you, Scarlett? Yeah. You ready, Bella? She's about to go in. Bella, you ready? She thinks she's about to have a feed. I think she's a bit nervous, but uh. I think she's ready for the feed. <laughs> right, let's nervous. go. Are you ready, Bella? I think that's ready. Are you ready, Bella? I think that's ready. Yeah, I guess she did it. Well, let's get her in before she's a poo on my hand. Oh dear. Here we go. Here's a big moment. I'm going to go thumb first. Ooh. Does she like it? She likes it. I told you she likes it. Oh no! Oh, oh, no. Bella. Bella! I told you she likes it. It's nice. You've got the experts over here helping you she out. Said. Oh! Oh! Does she like oh. this? Oh, she's okay. She likes that little bit on her head, look. Let me put it on her head. Oh. Look how long her arms are. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've never seen them look so long. Oh. I think she likes it. I think she doesn't really know. Right, bath time finished. Let's get her out. Oh. Oh. Bath time kind of a success. She was okay. She had a little bit of a cry. But... Well done, Bella, your first bath. So guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Um, I've just finished up with the editing on it and um, we totally forgot to do like an outro to the video. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, just sort of to touch on the title of the video, um, it's kind of based on the fact of like having babies can be quite addictive, like the the feeling of a, a newborn and the smell and all the new experiences and things like that and it can be quite addictive but for us um, sort of as soon as we had Bella we kind of both said that's it now um, our family's complete um, and although it may seem a wonderful idea to keep on having um, babies um, for us we definitely uh, have closed the book on um, the babies for the future and we're now a fully complete family of five. Bella has certainly completed us um, and we feel so so happy so that's basically the the title of the video I just wanted to explain that um, but yeah all is good I hope you've enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it I try and um, throw some different things in there to really get you to sort of feel some different sort of emotions so if I achieved that um, then that really makes me happy so that's what the aim is um, and I really just hope you enjoy watching if you're not subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button and we shall see you in the next video bye